the Older People Organization and Youth Union traded accusations over the quagmire in the country during the event to mark International Youth Day. Donato Achim, executive director for the Older People Organization blamed the youth for creating a chaotic environment for elderly persons in the country. Achim said the youth are desperate to seize power from the elderly people. Lack of respect to older people during this war is actually impacting negatively on the younger people because the younger people are in hurry of taking power from older people," he said. Speaking at the Youth Day event, Achin claimed, the young generation does not often respect the elderly and acts violently towards them. They don't respect the older people, older people are beaten their properties are robbed. I wish this day should be extended for two months so that we sit together with the youth and build the bridge together. In response, Bini Kambur, the Secretary of External Affairs for the National Youth Union, accused the elderly of robbing young people of opportunities. I want to respond to the elderly people that you guys are also robbing us. We have been robbed so many times, if we are beating you, it is because you are robbing us," said the youth leader. The International Youth Day is marked on 12 August each year. It is a day of awareness, recognizing youth across the globe and empowering the world's young people to make positive contributions to their communities and nations. The national theme for this year is intergenerational solidarity, building a South Sudan for all ages. For his part, the Minister of Youth and Sports, Dr. Albino Bull said there is a need to close the generational gap by ensuring the youth learn from elderly persons. But he empathized on the need for elderly people to give some space for the youth to act along with them. The elderly ones also have to give some small space to the young people so they can learn from them, because if they fade away by normal lifespan then we will have a problem," said Dr. Bull. If we don't have young people who have gained the knowledge and gained skills from the elderly people, then now the country will not have a replacement. That is why it is important to have a dialogue between older persons and the